Hey guys, my name is Brandon and I'm an electronic dance music producer from Southern California. Uh, if you could go into the description box and check out my other channel, I produce under the name You Know, and I'd really appreciate it if you could check out my songs. Anyways, uh, I've decided to start a really basic tutorial series on FL Studio and um, various uh, methods within FL Studio that uh, probably should have a tutorial but don't already. So um, without further ado, I'm going to do a really, really basic tutorial on uh, just the basic things in FL Studio. So for all you uh, seasoned FL Studio users out there, I'm sorry, this is going to be kind of a, a boring, uh, simple episode. Anyways, so this is FL Studio. It's a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, where you can uh, track and record, produce, mix and master, uh, all kinds of uh, audio signals. Um, broadcasts, speeches, songs, whatever. Anything with audio, you can mess around with it. Uh, your basic uh, controls are up here. You can save your th uh, work up here. Um, select different uh, plugins right here. This is where you can create uh, generators, where you can create sounds. Um, here's where you can adjust your views, um, mess with the audio settings and different options. Uh, all that type of good stuff. Right here, the play and stop button, and here's where you toggle the pl uh, song and loop uh, playback. Here's where you are in the song as far as time. Here's the tempo of the song. I have it at 128, which is a common half beat. Uh, here's the spool meter. Here's the uh, MIDI uh, controller, uh, I guess, tool bar thing. Here's uh, my CPU and RAM meter. Uh, here is the five basic buttons that I use all the time. Um, it's pretty much the essential five buttons you use in FL Studio. And then here's some file uh, saving stuff. Anyways, uh, here's the playlist. This is um, where you lay out your song and your samples. Um, restructure your song and whatnot, all that good stuff. Um, that's how you create your song, essentially. So I put together a couple loops already. Um, if I kept doing this and added little bits and whatnot, I'd create a song. So let's have a listen. Okay, so that's, like I said, really, really simple. And again, you can toggle the playlist by clicking on this little button right here. Uh, it might be different in your FL Studio because... Um, are arranged kind of special up here. Anyway, next to that is going to be the sequencer where you can create loops. And you can select loops by just clicking on the drop down and selecting what loop you want. You can create loops by selecting the little plus sign right here. And you can name them whatever. I'll call this one base loop. And let me delete the pre existing base loop. And delete them like this. And then, um, basically, my next or my next point is uh, to go into piano roll. Uh, you select piano roll by going, uh, hitting this little button right here. And whatever uh, item you have selected with the little red dot next to it is whatever will go into piano roll. So right now I have three X oscillator into piano roll. And you can select whatever note you want to be played in piano roll by clicking and adjusting it so that the duration of the note is where you want it to be. And then if you want to adjust the duration a little bit more, you can shorten or lengthen this, so check this out. Like I said, really, really simple. I'm going to paste this little bass line I created. Um, you can create your own chords within FL Studio, so check this out. A little C major action there. Um, but yeah, you can create chords or whatever the hell you want um, within the piano roll, or uh, scales, whatever. You can adjust the swing of a loop using this little slider right here. Um, basically that dots um, 16th notes I believe in uh, your loop 
Uh, it has a little bit of swing to it. Um, this little drop down thing right here can adjust extra little settings. Um, for a beginner, I wouldn't mess too much with it. Velocity, also the same as volume. Um, yeah, just a bunch of little things here. Alright. Um, then if you want to take this loop right here and put it into the song, all you do is uh, have this loop selected right here and enter it in wherever you want on the song, like I'm doing. And let's have a listen. All right, pretty basic again. Let's open up some uh, more samples. Uh, just click the little browser right here and that'll open up your sample library. Um, here's some more samples. Some snares ones uh, I downloaded from boyinaband.com, I believe. And if you want to add the snare into a loop, all you do is take whatever uh, sample you want, this one, for instance, and drag it into your loop. And then you can create a loop using that. Super basic, right? I'm going to keep saying that, super basic, because this is a really uh, simple stuff uh, in this episode. Uh, so, pretty simple. Uh, you can also create a one shot by taking the sample and dragging it into the playlist. So now you've created a one shot essentially. So you kind of see how that works. Uh, you can just drop the uh, audio clip in there. And let me just get rid of that. Okay, and then the final uh, thing I want to show you guys is how to work the mixer. Um, this is very, very... Um, I could do a whole lesson, a whole video on this, so I'm just going to go over it really basic, basically. Um, FL Studio automatically assigns the kick to the first insert, the clap to the second, the hat to the third, and the... Um, snare to the fourth, so check it out. And I assigned the 3x oscillator to this one, the fifth insert, by simply taking the 3x oscillator, selecting it, and then clicking on which insert I want it to be in, right click, do the link to selected channels, and then to this track. And then that would have uh, linked it to that track, and it's still linked. As you can see from there you can add effects so simply got a, uh, your EQ right here and check it out so see how that works you can uh, kind of play around with the effects in here and so yeah basically you just select from this drop down menu you uh, if you click uh, you can select any of those effects and uh, add it to whatever's going through this mixer for, through this insert uh, then the final thing I want to bring up is the master channel right here uh, that's where every single sound that's played on your, your playlist plays through so check this out right here okay so um, kind of have an idea of that that's really useful when you're uh, mastering or adding a mix bus compression um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, like I said if you have the time I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, check out my other channel and if you want uh, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe and I should go over some more basic tutorials on FL Studio. Um, uh, but until next time, uh, hope you have a good one. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, here's the Moonbotten version of what I just created. That's pretty much it. All right.